Lost Valley, a hidden little domain right above the chasm. While it does sound easier on paper to defeat the few enemies it throws at you, they can become quite deadly if you're not aware of what they can and will do. Today I'm going to cover all the necessary info you need to defeat these automatons and a small little list of useful characters to use here. You will face off a ruin cruiser, destroyer and grader. And besides the usual little punches they throw every now and then, they all have one ability you definitely have to dodge at all cost and one that you can shamelessly exploit to stun them for a while. The destroyer is the snake-like machine and has two notable abilities. The one you definitely need to dodge is when it starts pointing its head down and fires a laser into the ground. This ability will put an area of effect field over your last position and will continue to deal damage there for a few seconds. That damage is definitely deadly. A second notable ability is when he digs into the ground. Sometimes when he emerges, he goes into a blooming flower-like stance which will pull you in and periodically deal damage to you. While it seems instinctively right to try and run away from that, instead face the flower head on and give it a good smack. The machine will be stunned for a few seconds. The cruiser is a little bit less obvious with its abilities. His must dodge appears when he takes on a stance where he will have three little yellow orbs in front of him. Shortly after that he will create a field that will periodically damage you a lot. You have to get out of that. Sometimes during testing it appeared like you can smack the three orbs to stun him, but for some reason that did not always work. His exploitable attack looks pretty much the same, except without the orbs. If you smack that, he will be stunned shortly. When he takes the form of a laser rifle, he will just shoot you for a little bit of damage, nothing much to worry about there. Hey, Laramie from the future here. Uh, during editing I noticed that the cruiser is stunnable in pretty much both of these forms that I mentioned before, so basically little change of plans, just smack him whenever you can, basically focus on him a little bit. The rune destroyer will follow you anyway, all the time, and the rune grader will also just follow you everywhere. So just focus on the uh, cruiser in the beginning and yeah, it should be totally fine. Whenever he does something dangerous, you will stun him. So yeah, just focus on him. The Ruin Grader is, despite his menacing size, the probably easiest enemy to handle here. His size allows you to pretty clearly see what he is about to do and gives you plenty of time to just move away. If you see any of his weak spots exposed, which are his knees and his head core, whatever you will call it, you can throw in a little hit there, but don't stress it too much as he is barely a pain to begin with. The only real threat he poses is when he goes into his helicopter mode. Depending on where you are standing, this could potentially stun lock and kill you. So try to position yourself towards the center of the domain so that he can't juggle you towards the edge. So what about the domain itself? Every time you activate an elemental skill, you will explode for a small amount of damage, which is a fixed amount that will never change. While stronger late game teams won't even notice the little damage bonus from it, beginners might want to take advantage of it by bringing units that can use the elemental skill often. First characters that come to mind are Dilo, Kie and Zhao, but don't worry, there are faster options that can also just spam their abilities, namely Fischl and Lisa. Every time you reposition us, it counts as a use of elemental skill and Lisa's cooldown for just tapping her E is almost non-existent. But even then this damage is so little that I would only recommend this strategy if you try to min-max your damage with the least possible amount of investment. If you want to take resistances into consideration, then stay away from physical damage dealers, as the Ruin Grader ignores 70% of that. Other than that, bring whatever damage type you feel like. As always, I would recommend some sort of passive off-field healer such as Barbara, Kokomi or Chichi, simply to counter the little instances of damage every now and then that we just don't really wanna bother to dodge. Hope this helped out someone out there that is struggling with this domain and if you have any suggestions on which domain I should cover next, feel free to leave it in the comments. If you liked the video, please remember to leave a like or maybe even subscribe. See you in the next video and until then, have fun and adios. things up a little. You're in for a little shot. <laughs> yeah. I summon the light goes on. <laughs> Come a little closer. <laughs> Come a little closer. You're in for a
a little shot. Ah! Opening box of the Death Eye Drips. No rest for the wicked. Oh. As you wish, main Foylein. Come a little closer. Surrender and be gentle. No escape! You're in for a little shot. You're in for a little shot. Come a little closer. For the wicked. No rest for the wicked. No rest for the wicked. Midnight Fantasmagore! <laughs> Come a little closer. You're in for a little shot. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shot. Come a little <laughs> Come a little closer. <laughs>